In this tutorial, we'll look at the apply and update methods in Scala. So, suppose in Scala we have something like this. So, we have an object here, users store, which has a variable, um, which is a map from a user ID to a username. Okay. And we have a method apply, which receives an integer, which is the ID and returns the name for that user. Now, we can, so now we can call this as user store dot apply with one. And if we print this, we get John, okay? The special thing about the apply is that we can either call it like this, user, user store dot apply, or like this, okay? User store open parentheses calls the apply. So this is the special thing about the apply method. When we call user store one, we are doing basically calling the dot apply, okay? Now, um, if the, yeah, and the apply can receive any number of arguments, okay? Zero arguments, one argument, two arguments, etc. It doesn't matter. And so we can call it in these two ways, okay? It looks like uh, we are calling a function. And in functions, okay, when we have a function which is taking an integer and summing one, i plus one, okay, we can call this function with either like this okay or with the apply which is the same thing so when we have a function and we do open parentheses with a number we are calling the apply method okay so this is the apply method so in functions the functions define the apply method which is calling the function okay when we do it like this, function open parentheses, we are calling the apply method. But any object in which we define the apply method, we can use it like that, okay? With name of the object, so either an object or an instance, okay, of a class. And when we open the parentheses, we are calling the apply method. So cat open parentheses, it's cat.apply. It translates to cat.apply. Now, suppose here we have another case. Suppose that now, so that's the apply method. So suppose now we have the user store that has the apply and now we define an update, okay? Which takes an ID and a an user and adds the, the ID and the user to the store, okay? So we can call user store dot update with for and John Doe. And we can also call it like this, user store for equals John Doe. So these two are the same, okay? So they produce the same result. So this is the special way of calling the update method, which is a special method like the apply, which you can call either user store dot update or user store for equals John Doe. More things to notice. Uh, if we define a method, the method update without, um, let's say without the id okay let's imagine that if we don't specify the id the id would be zero okay we could call it like update with only john doe or update open close parentheses equals this is calling the update if it only has one argument okay now if we say that the method update returns uh, a value okay for example it returns three to one so this, if you were uh, modifying, let's imagine an SQL database, okay? In some way you could, for example, be returning the SQL required to do the change, or you could re return the number of rows required to, to make the change, etc. okay? You can imagine anything you may need there. Or for example, if you are doing a web application, you may return the JavaScript required to apply that, that change on the client side, okay? Which is also very useful that kind of, uh, that idea, okay? 
and now I can say just val result, which in this case is an integer, equals user store equals jando. Okay, and this works. And now I have the result here. Okay, so this result could be could be SQL. Let's imagine the SQL required to. Uh, let's imagine I have a type SQL, and the SQL required to to change the user store and to add jando or whatever uh, is returned by the by the applied. Okay. And it's very good for domain-specific languages because this can return SQL or JavaScript or whatever I need. So this is the apply and update method. So when I have dot apply, cat dot apply, I can do it like this, cat open close parentheses. When I have user store dot update with foreign John Doe, I can use it like this, user store for equals John Doe. And that's it.